Welcome, new art lovers. It's art history in just a minute. Well, well, it's Leonardo da Vinci's famous Mona Lisa, exhibited behind bulletproof glass. Thousands ogle her every day, and she gazes calmly back with this clever, knowing smile on her face. Giorgio Vasari says that Leonardo employed singers and musicians to keep her amused while he was painting. It was Vasari who gave her the name Mona Lisa. Mona, or Mona, is a contraction of Madonna and is equivalent to Milady. In Italy, she is known as La Gioconda, in France as La Gioconde, which simply means the happy one. But Vasari evidently thought it referred to her name and so he identified her as Milady Lisa, the wife of an obscure Florentine businessman named Francesco del Giocondo. We really don't know who she is, but the pose is new. In the 15th century, women were usually portrayed in profile. Mona Lisa may have sat down to pose for the usual profile portrait, but then Leonardo said, turn towards me, Turn your head a little more. Good. Now place your right hand on your left. Note your other right hand. That's better. Now hold still and smile. Ooh, no. Close your mouth. Excellent. Her mysterious smile resides neither in her eyes nor in her mouth but in the two together. She is seated on a chair next to a low wall on a lodger, the columns of which are just visible to either side. The lodger is high up and behind her is a rocky inhospitable landscape of craggy mountains, a lake, a winding road and a river with a bridge over. She wears a transparent veil over her dark hair, which falls in loose ringlets to her shoulders. No makeup, no jewelry. She wears a dark green low-cut dress that has been elaborately stitched and gathered at the neckline. A mantle is casually draped over her shoulders, covering her upper arms. Though long admired, it was the theft of the painting from the Louvre in 1911 that catapulted her to celebrity status. In 1919, the Dadaist artist Marcel Duchamp added a moustache and goatee to a postcard image of her and printed the letters L-H-O-O-Q below. When sounded out in French, the letters say Elle a chaud au cou or She has a hot <coughs> And like all celebrities, she has had to endure all sorts of indignities ever since. And many more. All very amusing. Don't you think?